Bank Business Property Club, Coach Paul here on the Monday after our meet where we did a lot of benching. I'm going to go over one of the recap uh, tools we use to help people get better lat engagement while they're benching and also groove a good pattern from when you're pressing so you're not pressing the bar away from you and move back towards the rack. So I have our lovely intern Paul here. We can be Paul Square for this uh, video today if you prefer that. I also have a bar set up in the power rack with a band on either side. So you may ask, why is the band down below? I'm actually going to have Paul do the movement first, and I'll go with a little bit of details why you want to do it this way. So Paul, if you lay back on the bench, he's going to get his eyes through the bar. He's going to bring his shoulder width down into his back pocket. He's going to grip the bar, help him take it out. And he's going to try to snap it in two, like he's trying to snap a broomstick. Then pull down to your chest, and then press. Okay, right arm. So there's a couple things we're able to do with the band pen. One, because the band is trying to pull you back overhead, this will kind of counteract what can happen with the bar path when someone wants to push away from themselves as opposed to in this kind of J motion back into the rack, which is the most optimal distance you want to travel when you're benching. The other thing too that's going to happen is the band is also trying to pull the bar back over your head, so your lats have to work really, really overtime to prevent that from happening. If you don't have access to a rack where you can hook the band around the poles, what you can do is have your spotter loop the band around the bar itself, step into the band and we can make sure they're heavy enough that they can support you, and just practice doing singles. I don't recommend usually doing a lot of weight with this. This is more of a technique training tool that you might do in your warm up before your main lift. Just working on taking the bar out, breaking it, and really getting those laps working over time to help you uh, have a nice stable pull position and then press for your bench. Hope this helps. Let me know what you think, and we'll see you next week.